accompanied by Taliban police, we're descending to what looks and smells and feels like hell. A city of the curse beneath the city of Kabul. A place where they're too far gone even to weep about their fate. A collection of souls lost to the darkness of addiction. This is life under the Pulisukta Bridge. Most are opium addicts, but an increasing number are dependent on methamphetamine. He's not praying as Muslims should, but searching for a tiny fragment of his drug. The bundle by the sewer is a living, breathing human being, although he may scarcely know that himself. The Taliban says it will end Afghanistan's dependence on drugs, both the individual addicts here and the country's reliance on the export of opium. But it's not so easy. They destroy one stall and then another pops up. A recitation of the policy replaces any real solution to a problem that has eluded previous Afghan governments. نوس الحمد لله د کم وخت نه چې امارت اسلامي الله رب العزت قائم کړی دی ولس د امن سا غیست ده نو د امارت اسلامي امیر المؤمنین شیخ سه په دې باندې امر کړی چې مکمل د مواد مخدر د پاره تاریخ دی چرس دی د مکمل د ټولو باندې بندیز لګولی دی 400 miles south the taliban show their presence in lashkagar capital of helmand more than 80% of the world's opium for heroin is grown here the globe could represent the province's international significance. The Taliban have knocked off the heads of the birds on the monument. Images of living things are banned and threaten to be just as ruthless with the opium trade. When the British were in Helmand, based here in Lashkagar, they tried and failed to get rid of opium. The Taliban did have some success back in the 1990s, and they say they're going to do it again, get rid of it. But it's very hard to see how they can manage to do that if sanctions remain in place. They need money. And what alternative income will they have? Last month saw another bumper poppy harvest, even though only a few weeks earlier the Taliban had announced that cultivating poppy was now illegal. They make the cuts to extract the precious sap. The price has increased, and local Taliban mullahs tax the crop so may be reluctant to carry out central government orders. Thousands of Afghans travel to Helmand as seasonal laborers. Even children help mix up the sticky sap before it's processed further. No other crop provides such employment possibilities. So here they fear the Taliban edict that the trade must end. What do you think this is, they shout. Opium. And they're off to the market. Everyone in the area is dependent on the drug trade. Hash and methamphetamines, but primarily opium, which accounts for 7% of Afghanistan's GDP. And that proportion will grow now, as so little aid is coming in. The big test will come in October. Will the Taliban prevent the planting of the next poppy crop? Or will they decide that they have too much to lose? And despite the edict, the Afghan economy will grow ever more addicted to drugs.